Hello guys, it's um, Ty Rezac again, and I'm going to do an unboxing video of, um, uh, also I did this with my CDs, you like it? I also did this to my laptop, so, let's see, alright, um, see, it's cool, yeah, alright, anyways, um, went to the record store yesterday as a celebration of my graduation, I got five albums. And um, I'll unbox them for you. Hold on one second. Let me do this one first. This one's third by Portishead. And I actually kind of think this might be my favorite album by them now, which is a very unpopular opinion, but I think this is probably their most experimental and just one of their most musically diverse as well. They're not really even doing a lot of trip hop on here, but somehow makes it work out. The Rip is such a beautiful song. I think, too. Yeah, the record. Yeah. That was the uh, spine of it. Anyways, now next, um, Red by King Crimson. Also, I bit my tongue um, yesterday. I was asleep. It still hurts. So if I'm talking weird. That's the reason. Anyways, uh, Red by King Crimson. This actually just might be my favorite album by them now. <laughs> Starless is one of my favorite songs from the 70s. It's probably my favorite, definitely my favorite song by them overall. I even like that song. That song was the, my favorite when I, In the Court of the Crimson King, was my favorite song, album by them. I think just Red is better overall. It just seems like a better version of In the Court of the Crimson King. Cause, I don't know, but it's just, even though I think Providence is even better than Moonchild, Starless is better than Court of the Crimson King, Fallen Angel is better than, um, I Talk to the Wind, I would say Epitaph is better than One More Red Nightmare, and 21st Century Schizoid Man is definitely better than Red, but, yeah, anyways, now, Computer World by Kraftwerk. I've always been really impressed with the, the packaging this group does. And this is their uh, German electronic group from the 70s. This album came out in the 80s, so, But really cool packaging. I've always been impressed with their packaging. It comes with a book as well. Hold on. And this is... Um, Kind of like a very video gamey, chiptune kind of sounding album. If you like stuff that sounds like that, you'll definitely like this. This is a concept album about them believing the whole world will kind of run on computers, which turned out to be correct. And I really like this kind of text stuff they did. Even the sleeve on it is kind of like text based, like the description of no copyright law and all that stuff. So that was cool. Like it's typed on a computer, like an old computer or something too. Yeah, it's cool. And um, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Nonagon Infinity. And this is actually probably one of the coolest packaging had for an album as well. This is really cool because it's a concept album and that kind of has a picture for each one of the songs. They're an Australian psychedelic rock group, but they've done all different types of genres. They've done... Uh, progressive rock they've done some heavy metal some boogie rock and they're going to release a fresh metal album this year actually and they've released like five albums in 2017 for the most part they've released usually like two albums a year but uh this is the only album they released in 2016 though but incredibly talented group and also the record the way it's made is actually really cool because it's uh first of all let me get it out um it's a uh, colored, but it's. I got this at the record store. It's really cool they even had this, but packaging is really unique because um, for the record, because this vinyl version is slightly different than the audio version, which is interesting because the it like has outros. Like the outro to the first song is the outro to the the intro to the first song is the outro to the last song, and the outro to intro to side A is the outro in. The outro to side A is the intro to side B, and the intro to side B is the outro to side A, which I thought was interesting. 
actually. Yeah, I, I really like, thought that was cool. And the, looks nice, looks clean. Really like it. Anyways, um, Hot Buttered Hot Buttered Soul by Isaac Hayes. If you don't know who Isaac Hayes is, he po he voiced the chef in South Park, but he was also a soul musician. This came out in the 60s. And this is, there's only four songs on this, but it's uh, really, really beautiful soul album. It kind of progresses. Like, there's songs on it that are actually quite long for a soul album. And this is progressive progression in soul. I don't know if it's been done by anyone other than him on this album, but it's really, really good sound. Really heartbreaking, bittersweet album as well. So pretty. I love this album so much. It's been really growing on me since I've heard it. Had to get it. Anyways, yep. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.